Oh, Nicholas, into the light, please. Into the light, we'll see you, mate. Into the limelight. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, I'm very scared. <laughs> uh, I'm really honoured to speak tonight. Um, it took a lot of asking and begging before Grandpa invited me to speak. How much you have to pay him? He should be paying me, I think. <laughs> right, first point. Right. Uh, as Grandpa said last night, um, I went to my family and I went to Turnabitza uh, early this year, about halfway through the year, and just the first thing I saw when I went there was just a big sign, and it spelled Turnabitza wrong. <laughs> <laughs> wrong town, I said to Dad. And then we drove in, and I realised it was. I don't know where I recognised you from, but I could just tell. Rocks everywhere, just rocks and rocks and rocks. <laughs> thorns! Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Rocks and thorns. Rocks and thorny little bushes. <laughs> Not a good place to be. And it's just so different from Australia. Australia, you look out and you see big buildings everywhere. You look, bright lights. Just. Brisbane? Uh, oh, oh, Brisbane. <laughs> yeah, climbing trees. Right. Yeah, just completely different. No cane fields, no cricket fields, no no real trees. <laughs> Rocks. 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 Thorns. And I, is the word for thorn, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyway, well, after we left, the first thing I say to Dan, and this has been passed around so many times over dinner tables and everywhere, is just the best thing the Darwinese family ever did was leave. Yay! <laughs> Second point. Oh, I've got to speak Oh, i got to say that. This is serious. Yeah, it's very serious. I've been trying. Uh, Darwinese has loved to travel. Just all my life I've been traveling. I've traveled the world, around the world several times. Um, people are living in Mongolia. Victoria. <laughs> New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand. Far off places like that. Just, I think we're going to be travelling for the rest of our lives. Turn of it to Australia, just everywhere. Stop folding this paper. <laughs> oh. And one thing I've noticed about the Darwinese is whenever any of them have met up, whether it's two or two hundred, they're loud. Yeah. Yes. 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 You gotta believe who had, it. Who had no problems speaking to each other last night? Who didn't have to shout to be heard? <laughs> <laughs> I just love the fact that we're such a close family and that I've recognised most of the people who've come tonight. Just, we're so close and it's so, such a pleasure to be in such a nice family. Oh, we're not I'm sure Grandpa's parents and grandparents will be proud to see how close we all are today. Yeah. I also love the fact that we're a known entity. I'm always being asked if I'm related to the cool Ben Darvinizer. The cool Ben Darvinizer or Professor Darvinizer or the hooker for Australia <laughs> <laughs> and Paul the singer just and all these people just coming up and say, oh, are you related to Darvenzia or Professor Darvin Darvinesia? <laughs> all my life I've had to say Darvinesia. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what about the Darvinese today? Who are our role models today? Is it our forefathers? Well, yes, in part. Is it our grandparents' generation? And our parents? Well, yes, very much. But perhaps a true indication of where this family is going can be described in one phrase, the cousins. Oh. Yes, it's the likes of Emma and Ben at the helm, and supported by the likes of Donna and Marisa, Kyle and Adrian, Al and Alistair that are showing us the way. I'll leave it to you to ponder on which direction this will take our family. <laughs> yeah. On behalf of the young Darwinese, I'd just like to say thank you for everyone for coming. And when we have the cake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done.